Good afternoon, this is Nicole from Anchor Sales Oracle, and I'm here to do an energy update for the sign of Capricorn. This is uh, Thanksgiving long weekend, and I just want to wish you guys all a happy birthday. Uh, I mean, <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, maybe you are thinking about your birthday, because, you know, that's the next holiday coming up. And uh, some of you have the privilege of having your birthdays right on Christmas, you know, so that's kind of a jip or rip. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's get into this. So we're going to walk through the portal with Colette Baron and see what your energies are for this long weekend, Thanksgiving weekend from October 7th to the 10th. Let's see where your energies are lying in Capricorn or the energies around you. But let's ask, what, what is the energies for Capricorn? Energies for Capricorn. So we have the Dragon's Duel. You're having a bit of inner conflict, mortality, conscious choices. So your inner conflict is like, I'm not too sure what choice to make here about a situation or even just thoughts in your head. All right, let's look at what the mystical animals have to say from the Halloween deck. What are your familiars gonna tell us about your energies, Capricorn? Let's see here now. Okay, 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 okay. So we have the black, the black cat. Fortune meets opportunity. So this weekend, there is going to be some good luck coming your way. Um, when I see this card, it reminds me of the sister. Your sisters might be coming to visit you, or a sister or a brother, or somebody that is a sibling is going to come visit you this weekend. So that's what I get from that card. Let's look here. Yes, 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 yes. And this validates that with the heart. The heart is about your home and happiness and spending time around the fire with your family. Okay, you're balancing out the emotions here. Yes, and then what fell on the floor? Let me... We have invisibility, your authentic, uh, your authenticity. So you're either putting on a cloak to just cover up some of your insecurities and inner feelings just for the moment because you want to enjoy time with your family or it might be the opposite you're going to open up and show your dark shadow side right let's see what else we have well, that, that 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 goes with the inner conflict and the the choices that you're going to be making maybe you're going to be sharing some information with some family members that you have been holding in and keeping to yourself about a situation. It could be that. All right, let's uh, take a look through the shapeshifters. It's on the back deck here. Shapeshifters. Shapeshifters. What are the energies for the Capricorn? From October 7th to the 10th. Happy Thanksgiving. And we have the Artemis of the forest. Now you are independent and free. Okay, so there again, many more people around you, animals around you. This is collaborating with your loved ones. Look at the beautiful deer family we have here, okay? So you're feeling free. Um, maybe that also means that you, you feel safe and able to open up freely to discuss whatever it is that's in your heart and on your mind. Very beautiful Capricorn. Absolutely beautiful energy there. Okay, let's take a look at what our wonderful witches have to bring us. The magic of the witches. Our magical witches. Another Halloween deck. What is the magical deck going to bring us? 
what energies are you going to show us here for Capricorn? Like seven, whoa, whoa, seven to the tenth. These witches had a lot to talk about. Ow, Capricorn. I feel more coming. That's why I'm continuing to keep going with this. Okay. So, security. Yes, again, security within your home and around your family. There you are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, uh, protection. Yes, you feel protected. Protection is around you. You know, uh, your spirit guides are around you protecting you. Very beautiful. Winter. Watchtower of the North. Uh, not remember what this card is about so we're gonna step it aside for a moment take a look at whatever and we have um let's see guidance there's been much guidance around you maybe through people that do tarot readings um spiritual help there's been guidance for you there has been an incubation period a rebirth or perhaps you were uh, you are pregnant or were pregnant or something, but um, we, we also have the fulfillment. Your cups are full. This is like the Ace of Cups, fulfilled life. Okay, so winter. I wonder what the winter is about. Let's see, these are very good cards here as well. And let's take a look and see if I can find the book. Or... The witches. I can find. Oh, here she is. There's the book. I'm gonna look up the winter card. Watchtower of the North. Watchtower of the North. Winter's hard, but you'll survive. As crones strip you, whistle still alive. This season's magic is laid bare. New wisdom found within to share. The magic is worked with harm to none. So mode it be, there it be done. All right. You're going through a dark night of the soul. Surrender and release. Persist the rewards will be life-changing. You are metaphorically needing rest and rejuvenating. The ancestors are connecting with you. Invoke your dark side with harm to none. Hail and welcome the guardians of the North Star. This is the time of the ancestors. The power of Earth connects us to the wisdom and the understanding of the old ways. The goddess in the integrates and becomes the aspect of crone as the god embraces wisdom of the elder. Pentacle protection this quarter. So when we're calling upon the guardians and the gatekeepers of the north, the season of winter begins. You and its gifts steep in magic and mystery as it works in conjunction with the element of earth. By visiting the Watchtower of the North, you are being called to go deep within, to rest and recharge through the Earth's nature and restores you. The, no the North will assist you with all the aspects of home life, security, and nurturing that you are required. Connect with the crone aspect of the tri triple goddess as you journey with the gods. In elder form, inwards, and face that which you have ignored for too long. Allow winter to freeze out any unwanted behaviors, any unwanted situations, any unwanted addictions you have been holding on to. Stripping yourself bare with the dark chambers of, of the winter's tomb. The color black represents the element of earth and should be used to accordance with your magical workings at the time of midnight. Winter shares its wisdom 
in association with the card of the flanks in this one. Okay, so when we had the um, cards here of incubation, security, and protection, it would say you're going through another birthing um, time, a, a rebirth, right? It's like going through the death card. Now you're, so you're letting go of things old ideas, old param, um, paramimes that no longer serve you. You're letting this um, stuff drop down and you're feeling like you can live a more fulfilling life, a protected life and having security. So this winter is gonna be a really interesting winter for you. You're um, gonna see changes within yourself you're gonna be able to feel like you can get out of that cocoon finally and be open and authentic to all your family members and the people around you. So my advice to you Capricorn is stay strong, live for your life. Uh, remember that Nobody can live your journey for you and don't let others manipulate you in your choices and your thoughts and how you should do things. Stand up for yourself. And you can do that in a way without showing anger. You can just basically set these boundaries. Hey, you know what? I was put on this earth to live out my own life, my own karma, and it's, it's up to me to make these choices. It's not up to you to say, so thanks for your opinion, but no thanks. And leave it at that, right? You're not here to live out what other people want you to live for them. You're here to live out your own fucking life. Sorry for being blunt, but I find that the sign of Capricorn, the Earth sign, she's a she's a, a pleaser who wants to please everybody's emotions. A kind of like a softer empress without the backbone at times. But remember that it's not, that's not being your authentic self. Being your authentic self is living for yourself and making the choices that you want to make. And if you're going to make a fucking mess of your own life, and, and then, you, then that's on you and nobody else, right? So, um, Anyway, this weekend it looks like you are going to enjoy some time with your family and that you are going to feel comfort and you are going to feel security and you are going to be able to open up and enjoy your, yourself without uh, too much conflict there. You have a little bit of inner conflict, but put that aside and really just enjoy your family members that you can or your friends or whatever is happening this weekend. And that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Much love. See you again.